biggest thing I've learned from this whole process of, you know, shooting a film is patience. It, um, it all doesn't just come to you like you think it would. Like, you go and set up somewhere and think the waves are going to be good because you're there at the right time of year, but I don't know, it doesn't really happen that way. <laughs> this place is pretty mind boggling. Like, one day says that, well, one day says the waves are going to be fun and it's not, and then it says it's going to be shit and it's fun, so. I don't know, you just gotta wake up and see what happens and not do what I did this morning and wake up thinking there's gonna be waves and it's half a foot and dribbling, so. You got a little let down? A little let down this morning. Pretty used to it now though. <laughs> Look at this guy! Holy shit. He's having a good time. <laughs> Rocked into Cali, it was uh, straight into US Open week, waves were pumping, it was pretty big, biggest waves I've ever seen in California. The comp kind of finished and waves sort of just disappeared with the contest. <laughs> California is pretty much different to almost anywhere else in the world that you want to try and film. There's like, everywhere you try and surf, there's at least like minimum 15 guys. It could be the worst wave you've ever seen, like one foot, sloppy, windy, not even like a fun little wave to surf on, there'll be 15 guys out. So it's pretty frustrating, then you get those days where it's fun and you go out trestles and there's like 200 people out and it's just like, oh my God, this is some sort of nightmare. I thought this place was fun, but... You get that. Been there for two months and not getting that many waves, obviously had to do some other stuff to keep myself sane. I think they got like 125 um, motorbike engines in them. They just hammer. They got like power band or something. Sick. Yeah, we just had a big session in the go-karts and fired up to see what Blair's car can do now. Oh, uh...